Hello to all friends and fans of the pulp, paper and bioproducts industries. Welcome to our exciting Spectrum podcast, where today we'll be looking at the importance of dedicated maintenance programs for pulp and paper mills. I am Mark Rushton and I will be your host. You only have to look at the improved progress of servicing and maintenance in the motor industry to see how far the importance of servicing and maintenance has come over the last decades. It is rarely now that you see cars broken down by the roadside. This is predominantly because the vehicle manufacturers have clearly defined service agreements and timings to make sure that cars stay on the road. This approach to maintenance has now extended to pulp and paper mills across Europe. So today, we would like to welcome two Andritz experts in the field of maintenance and service for the pulp and paper industry. Ismo Ihalainen, Global Product Manager and Synergy Project Director, and Marcia Wagner, Maintenance Director, Asset Management and Iberian Business Manager. Welcome, gentlemen. It's great to have you with us. Thank you, Mark. It's great to be here. Thank you, Mark. It's good to be here with you, all of you. So let's get straight into the subject of maintenance uh, in, and service in the pulp and paper industry. Um, so first of all, please, gentlemen, can you tell us about yourselves and your history in the pulp and paper industry? And let's start with Ismo. Okay, so I started as a production engineer at the new sprint mill in Shotton, UK, and I was primarily responsible for overseeing the production and planning shutdowns. And during these shutdowns, I had the opportunity to work together closely with the maintenance team while I was gaining valuable insights into their work. In 2012, I joined Unrich which was a move that opened the doors to our cutting edge technologies and innovative projects. And that clearly elevated my expertise in the pulp and paper industry. Excellent. So you're actually out of the industry itself, which is, is great news. Um, and Marcio, over to you. I started at Brussel in 2005 as an automation engineer, specializing in the cell and pulp and pulp production. Over the past 24 years in maintenance, I've held uh, several roles from junior engineer to on-site maintenance manager, gaining experience in greenfield projects and optimizing old paper mills. I'm with Andrit since the end of 2012, starting in South America, contributing to innovative advancements in the industry as a maintenance specialist. And since 2019, I'm responsible for Europe in my role as a business manager. Excellent. Thank you, gentlemen. It's really good to know that you've actually got experience, hands-on experience on the front line of the pulp and paper industry. So that's, that's, I know we're in good hands already. So um, in general, how is maintenance carried out now at mills in Europe? Uh, we'll start with Marcio this time. So maintenance can vary a lot depending on the type of mill we are talking about like uh, paper mill, steel mill, textile mill, etc., and the specific equipments and process involved. In Europe, there are significantly more pulp and paper mills compared to South America, but a lot of them are old and the level of production is small. Talking all about paper mills in Europe, we have many old mills. Some are very well maintained, but Unfortunately, some are in bad shape when we talk about maintenance and process performance. So with old assets, the customer needs to ensure the throughput with high quality and performance of the products. Older mills with outdated technology, we can run forecast and maximizing overall equipment efficiency, OEE, is the most important thing for customer. On top of that, if Andrit's maintenance services also proactively looks for small bottlenecks, that's the butter on the bread. For some non-integrated paper companies, investing in better assets, maintenance strategy, etc., will be necessary to keep a positive EBITDA. So for many companies in Europe, the situation is evident. It's always 
old against new. And some, so some mills actually are forced to come with something new and have to think about investing in maintenance strategies and new technologies. Okay, so clearly here, um, Europe can be learning something from South America in the way that they protect their assets. Is that correct, Marcia? Absolutely, absolutely. Sometimes uh, some amount of investment is necessary in order to improve the capacity or improve the reliability and sometimes the availability. Okay, thank you. So um, how can the performance of existing assets be improved by professional maintenance packages from Andritz. Um, let's go to Ismo. As Marcio already pointed out, many mills in Europe are facing significant challenges. Some find themselves constantly firefighting to keep operators running, while others push their processes to the limit, leading to production stoppages, so-called unplanned shutdowns. And now the major concern for these mills is deciding how much money to invest in maintenance versus just simply letting things run without proper maintenance. We have a high inflation at the moment, which is causing a higher labor costs. And uh, investing in innovative technologies becomes crucial for streamlining operations and reducing uh, dependency on manual processes. Uh, having said that, some mills struggle to see the value in such investments. We uh, understand the concerns of our customers, especially as experienced personnel are retiring, uh, which result in uh, loss of knowledge while, while they are retiring. Our approach, therefore, involves uh, introducing new technology to help mills gain better insights into their processes and become more organized. Uh, our aim is to assist mills in achieving greater efficiency and sustainability for their operations. The UNRITS approach is leaning on risk-based management. We call it RBM. And uh, if we are not reacting to the one problem today, uh, this, it, it might cause us uh, another stoppage tomorrow. Yeah, it seems like um, scheduled maintenance is a no-brainer when it comes to the pulp and paper industry, really. I mean, it really uh, is an essential ingredient, it seems. So what happens uh, when a customer contacts Andritz? What, uh, what can they expect from, from you guys? Uh, in summary, we are doing mail assessment. This means we analyze our customer's maintenance process, planning level and maintenance cost per ton to assess the current situation. We also monitor the mill's workforce to optimize the resources allocation. If the mill is old and lacks modern monitoring system or has outdated facilities, we suggest to upgrade them to modern standards, ensuring efficient operations and safe working conditions. By providing valuable data and implementing modern practice, we help mills make informed decisions, reduce costs, and extend the lifespan of all their machinery. We listen to our customers and make decisions together so we can address additional tailor-made solutions. So you're basically making, making uh, all the facilities new again, which is, uh, which is excellent for the uh, customer. So, Ismo, anything to add to that? Well, if we look back and... Think uh, how we used to do these things uh, in the past. Uh, managing mills were, was like running a tight ship. Everything was about hierarchy and sticking to the rules. But uh, fast forward today, things have shifted. Uh, management has gotten very, way more flexible and adaptable. They've let go of that strict control and started focusing on teamwork, innovation, and making decisions faster. Andritz has come up with this amazing management package that's a total game changer. It's designed to help leaders level up their leadership skills and styles. And we come to call this MOP, so it's called Maintenance Orientated Process. It's like a toolkit for reorganizing and getting things in order. And MOP doesn't just stop there, it's your 
your go-to for effective feedback methods, recognizing what's crucial for success and nailing down the maintenance budget. What is then our main goal? We are on a mission to make things last as long as possible, all while being smarter about how we use our resources. It's about being more efficient, sustainable, and with the focus on the long game. Okay, so you have the knowledge, you have the tools, you have the strategy. So ultimately, what difference does Andritz maintenance service teams make to the bottom line at pulp and paper mills? Well, Andritz has many technology options that can help all types of paper machines. Our methodology is to identify the top two or three problems that are provoking issues and use our network of specialists to solve the problems that as fast as possible. Another advantage in is using several technological tools to stabilize the production process itself. Unrich has advanced controls based on artificial intelligence that can help the maintenance team identify the problems. And uh, in addition, we have a complete internal network in our global organization. And together with the Synergy approach, we can combine various teams to support customer success. Okay, excellent. Marcio, on to you. Anything to add there? Uh, yes. Uh, for instance, we had a customer suffering many years with several sheet breaks every week. Our team identified problems with the speed drive controls and the master and slave configuration. So in, in parallel, another group was working on the dilution control for the dilution tank. And after tuning some parameters, we nearly or almost eliminated the sheet breaks. Due to our adjustments, we managed to reduce the amount of sheet breaks from between 8 to 10 per month to 1 per month. In the same mail, we were also focus, focusing on sustainability because when maintaining in a better way that leads to less shutdowns and lower emissions because with every shutdown, everything needs to go uh, to be discharged and goes to effluent collector, discharging to rivers, etc. Due to our work, things are running smoother now and also in the future. Not so many shutdowns are needed. Excellent. So it definitely makes a difference to the actual operations on the mill, on the front line, and to the bottom line. So in conclusion, what is the future vision for Andritz Maintenance Service? Uh, well, I read today, uh, we are using a lot of more than just the human eye to get the overall picture of, for instance, the inspection of a tank or the type of equipment that are hard to access. By using cameras, we are able to reduce the time to analyze the current situation, like the reason for sheet breaks. In all paper mills, we have several motors. In older mills, we normally need to go from motor to motor to manually analyze their condition. Now, computers and smart sensors are helping, and the maintenance team has more time to focus on more tasks uh, in predictive and preventive maintenance, for instance. With the help of cutting edge technology, we can improve their productivity already. Soon, intelligent robots that help us doing our work will be e equipped with advanced sensors and artificial intelligence enabling them to monitor the mill's equipment, detecting issues early and perform performing repairs and replacement with precision. Excellent. It's really good to see the paper industry and the pulp industry, of course, um, um, embracing all this new technology of AI and digital and really putting it to good use. Ismo, have you got anything to say in conclusion? What are you doing going forward? Um, well, okay, so when it comes to sustainability and efficient operations, uh, the digitalization of industrial processes play an important role in creating a new era of opportunities. And uh, one of these opportunities is to extend the life of equipment, which means much more than just saving money. It also means promoting sustainability 
reducing the carbon footprint, and ultimately helping to mitigate climate change. Excellent final words, Ismo. Really, really good. And, and thank you, gentlemen, for the great discussion. For more information on the subject, please visit our dedicated website, which you will find in the show notes of this podcast. So I'd like to just say, gentlemen, it's been a great pleasure having you with us today. And thank you for joining us. And thank you to our listeners for tuning in. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Ismo. It was a pleasure talking to you both. Thank you. Goodbye.